Hello, we are starting with a little bit of a chat at the beginning. So I'm sorry if you're not interested in that. I know you meant to do like really engaging for 15 seconds of the video so people stick on. I need to give some context to this video. So I'm gonna chat for a little while and I'm sorry if that's super boring. But anyway, hello, we are getting out of our slump. We're getting out of it. I've decided this is it, I'm getting out of it. I'm, I'm bored, I'm sick, I'm, I'm done with it. I'm done with feeling crap. <laughs> if you are not a subscriber, I haven't been doing good recently. I have been in burnout, autistic burnout for like three, four months. I can't get myself out of it. And I am sick and tired of being in it. And I finally feel like I'm in that headspace where I could maybe try and pull myself out of it a little bit. So I'm gonna give it a go. I tried to do this last week. So basically last week I was like, right, I'm gonna take a week off the gym. I'm gonna try and get into a morning routine. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get myself out of this awful place that I'm in. And then I got ill. <laughs> I'm still not feeling 100%. Basically, we don't know what happened. If you're a subscriber, I'll fill you in. We aren't entirely sure what was the matter with me. I am, um, basically, I've got a really sore tonsil on one side. And the second day in of that, I felt so unwell. Like I felt I felt so unwell that I just couldn't do anything. You know when you're like sick and you just you you've got you just want to lie there because you've got absolutely no energy to do anything. I felt like that on the evening of the first day and then the whole of the second day. I couldn't do anything. Jack was like, "Well, just take the day off, have a chill, just do something you enjoy. Go on your video game, do something." I couldn't even play on my video game that I absolutely adore. That's how, because I was like, I can't even hold my attention long enough to be on the video game. So, that persisted. I tried going out whilst I still wasn't feeling good. I wasn't feeling good for day two and three and I had plans for like day four. And I was like, no, I'm feeling better. Because after day two, it kind of just went, that feeling of feeling like absolutely awful. But my throat, my, well I say my throat, it's not my throat, it's my tonsil, I can feel it's my tonsil. My tonsil is still feeling really sore. It's getting better now. It was at a point where like I was struggling to swallow and now it's just at a point that sometimes I'm struggling to swallow, I can't like shout. And my voice, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but my voice just go, keeps going a little funny. Not entirely sure what happens, I don't think it's tonsillitis because it's not both sides, it's literally just my left side. But basically bit of a story time. When I was like 15 I got tonsillitis for the first time ever and ended up getting really 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 poorly and ended up in hospital because I had this certain name for it but I can't remember what the name was but it's basically all my organs inflamed and my tonsils got so big they closed the back of my throat so I couldn't eat, I couldn't drink so I had to go into hospital be put on an IV because I just wasn't consuming anything and because of that then all my organs inflamed so I was in hospital for like a week and after that my tonsils have never really gone down so my right one is always up like my my right tonsil never went back down it's not sore all the time it's just it's always inflamed whereas my left one did go back down and then my left one didn't go up so i didn't ring the doctors because i was like i don't think it's tonsillitis because it hasn't completely pushed up but i was panicking thinking i was going to end up in hospital again and I'm, I think it's getting better. If it's not gone in the next few days, I might ring the doctors, but it's definitely getting better. Uh, ibuprofen is helping a ton. Didn't find that out until like day five, but still, ibuprofen is helping. So I'm just sticking on that, making sure I'm drinking water um, and I don't feel unwell anymore. It's kind of just like my throat's hurting. So anyway, yeah, uh, that was a tangent. I was wanting to do this last week, but I just was so tired, couldn't be bothered, wasn't sleeping well at all. So I've post postponed it this week. I have decided to take the week off the gym, well two weeks off the gym now because the gym for me, <sighs> I don't know what's happening with it, I've just completely lost my motivation for it or had. I'm feeling a bit better now that I've took some time off. My gym at the minute is not very clean. Uh, I, I used to really enjoy going to the gym because I got some social interaction because I'm self-employed, I don't really see anyone and I used to be close friends with the manager and she's kind of took a step back now and she's not in anymore so the gym's not as clean and also I've got no one to talk to which is obviously not the point in the gym but it just I think it's making me feel like I don't want to go it's mainly the dirtiness and it's mainly the people being inconsiderate but I've just lost my motivation for it I'm not enjoying it at the minute so I've decided to take a week off that so that doesn't feel it at the minute it's feeling like a chore it's feeling like 
I'm not going because I enjoy it. I'm going because I'm in this kind of routine and I don't want that. I want to enjoy it. So I've, I've took time off the gym. My main things I want to get better are just feeling more awake, feeling more put together and also being on TikTok less. And I'm hoping people are going to be able to relate to me here, but I'm on TikTok so much because there is nothing else that I want to do. And it's not that like, I'm, how do I phrase this the, the best way? I'm not on TikTok because I want to be on TikTok. I'm on TikTok because I can't think of anything I want to do, like at any point. And then I use it as breaks from work as well because I, I, I just really enjoy it. It's a really good like social media for me and it does take my mind off work. But then I get sucked into it and I'm, I'm just on it far too much. I use it to wake up in the morning. I use it when I'm bored, which is often. And I use it for breaks. So I went off TikTok. Uh, I want to get better with my skincare. I want a better morning routine, a better evening routine maybe. I'm not entirely sure, but I do want a better morning routine. I just want to feel more like, I don't know, like it girl. I want to feel like that girl. I want to feel like the cute aesthetic girlies that you see on TikTok. Obviously that's not going to happen as much as what those girlies have it because I'm autistic and ADHD so it's not going to happen as much as that but I want to feel better I want to feel better in myself I want to get my skin feeling better I want I just want to I just want to be better another thing that I've done is also I've took a caffeine break I I didn't start having caffeine until 2020 that was when I first started having ca oh no that's a lie I was taking caffeine tablets at uni uh for the gym only for the gym but consuming caffeine every day only really started in 2020 and I used to be really good at taking caffeine breaks because obviously your tolerance builds up so you need to take a break off it so then you can have it again and it actually feels like caffeine and I just I just got crap at it I just got bad I haven't took a break in forever and I can tell whenever I'm having an energy drink or if I'm taking my caffeine tablet I'm literally like this feels no different so I'm just feeling tired all the time so I'm taking a caffeine break <laughs> which hasn't helped with the tiredness. I'm, I feel like today's the first day that I felt better. The last few days I have just felt knackered. I haven't had it since Thursday. Yeah, Thursday was the last day that I had any caffeine and today is Tuesday. So it's not even been a week, but I'm doing that. I'm getting it. I only really wanted a week off. I think it's gonna be more like a week and a half, but I'm off caffeine as well, trying to help myself. I also bought a gua sha because basically right okay so i was thinking about getting a gua sha anyway because i i've talked about i'm so sorry this is this is such a long chat but i'm just catching these up i haven't vlogged in like a week and a half i'm, I'm letting you know what's happening basically i i've talked about health issues on here in my square subscribers but if you are new i have this weird head thing right uh if I lie down or if I bend my neck a certain way, I get an instant migraine. I can't do any lying down exercises at the gym because they hurt my head so bad. And I can't like go for a nap because it gives me a headache. I also have really bad TMJ. And I also feel like my face just it looks a bit not great at the minute. And then also yesterday I went on NGL, which is the anonymous questions app that you use for Instagram. And I went to put up a post in my community tab asking for questions for Q&A this week. So if you haven't sent a question over, please go over to my community tab, click on the NGL link and leave a question. It just lets you do it anonymously. But I went to find the link for that and I was like, oh, I've got two new questions on here. And one of them was basically telling me that um, I looked I looked unhealthy and puffy at the minute and I should go back to eating 1300 calories. Wasn't nice. I had a rant about it on my Instagram stories, but wasn't nice. But it really upset me because I have been feeling like that at the minute anyway. I am not gonna go back to eating 1300 calories because no one should be eating 1300 calories. I am trying to keep my eating disorder under control from that comment. I'm trying, but it hit me where it hurt because I have been feeling really, really insecure about my face recently. And basically, I saw a TikTok, this was before, I can't get into this freaking gua sha. I saw a TikTok a few weeks back talking about facial, like self-massage to help with things like TMJ and to help with neck tension because my neck is just so tense and my traps are overactive, which is something that I try to work on at the gym. But this lovely, lovely person went through an entire 
self massage that you can do to try and relieve your TMJ and neck tension. And one of the last ones involved a gua sha. So after I read that lovely, lovely comment yesterday, I ran to Amazon and bought a gua sha because if if people think I'm looking puffy, it's obviously not just me. How the frick am I getting into this box? It's came in a lovely little box, but I can't get into the freaking sticker. Hey, finally, Jesus Christ, that took forever. I bought a gua sha and a roller. I, I liked the idea of the roller and I also, I wanted a pink one, so how fancy is that? I just never bought one. It's one of those things that, oh, I love the feel of them. Oh, I love it. It's one of those things that just, I feel like loads of people got given to them as gifts at Christmas one year, so everybody had one and I never did. So I bought my own. This is a jade one. I wanted a rose quartz one, but the rose quartz ones were way more expensive. So I thought we could integrate this maybe into the morning routine. I think I'm gonna do it today though. I wanna go in the shower and wash my hair because the grease is greasing and I feel like that's gonna make me feel better. I wanna get better with my hygiene. I don't shower as often as I should as an autistic person. It's very, very common and I don't keep my hair as clean as I want it. I don't wash my hair very often, like at all. And I'd quite like to get into the routine of having clean hair often. I'm not gonna wash it every day or every two days or every three days because I have colored hair. And when I mean colored, I mean like bright color. If I wash my hair every day, I'm wasting my money at the hairdressers. So I wanna just get better with it. And I thought maybe we could come I'm seeing if this works because I get I get quite bad joint pain and one of the par parts of the massage is massaging your head and it hurts my fingers so I was hoping that might do. I might end up buying one of those like, you know, like the grippy ones where you can like get in and then it might hurt my fingers less. I am rambling but I thought maybe today we could do a shower and then afterwards do the facial massage together and around the jaw and stuff and hopefully I'll be able to see myself as less puffy and hopefully that person who told me I was too puffy will agree. But right now I am going to, um, I'm going to go I'll watch some TV. I basically, like I say, I want to get better into a morning routine but I just don't know what I want from my morning routine. I want it to feel intentional but I also want it to feel like it's fitting me, like it's suited around me. I'm not gonna be like, right, I'm gonna get up and go for a walk first thing. That's not gonna happen with my ADHD and autism. I'm not gonna be able to do that transition. So I'm gonna watch some, I'm gonna watch some self care and self improvement YouTube videos because I've been, I've been recommended a few by YouTube and I'm just gonna chuck them on in and see if that makes me feel motivated. I've noticed when I watch YouTube videos about making YouTube videos, I feel way more motivated, so, we're going to give it a go, so I'm going to go sit on my computer, maybe do some photography work, maybe do some scheduling. Also, I am scheduling a lot at the minute, so if you have, well not if, please, please tell me what you want to see. What videos do you like me doing? Please tell me. I know a few of you already had. That's fine, you don't have to tell me again if you don't want to. That's completely okay. But can, can people please tell me what they want to see on the channel? Because then I can schedule it in. Anyway, maybe do some YouTube schedule and I'm going to watch some self-improvement uh, YouTube videos. Not gonna lie, there's probably more nights where I'm scrolling through my phone for hours than reading a book. But I wanted to mention you are answering the question every day and you can pretty much see your growth. Oh. I've watched some videos. Uh, I just went off what YouTube suggested on my homepage and so many self-care channels are religious or have a lot of money. So how to take everything with a pinch of salt. All of them journal, all of them seem to be morning people. And obviously that makes sense. Morning routines are going to be made by people who are morning people. But my brain won't journal in the morning because it can't compute, it's not awake yet. I have to go on TikTok for half an hour before I can even have a conversation. So I feel like all of the morning routines I found are from morning people. So if I find a morning routine that works for me, for us non-morning people, I'll make one. See if it actually happens. I've made a few notes on things that I want to put in my morning routine, but now I'm going to go shower. It takes a little bit of a... It, I always forget how much more difficult it is to wash my hair than everyone else until I watch videos like that. People are like, and then I wash my hair, and then they just wash their hair. Whereas for me, I have to mix my conditioner, I have to separate out my hair, I have to condition my hair in a certain way, and then it has to sit for 10 minutes so the colour goes on. And then... 
I have to try and clean up the shower because there's pink and yellow dye everywhere. I can talk more about my hair routine in a different video if, every, if anyone is interested in that because bright hair takes a lot of work. So anyway, we're going to go shower and then whilst I am feeling clean, my hair's wet, then I think I'll put a face mask on and we'll use the gua sha. I've not been very good with that recently either and obviously you know many let it be wet for ages I've just been air drying and I know it's not good so I decided to actually dry it it actually ended up being a really quick clean because I've run out of dye drops which is fine it's gone a beautiful color I don't really think it's picking up well on camera it's went a beautiful color but I wouldn't want it to be this kind of color for a new for a few more washes but nothing I could do, ran out of dye drops and a uh, shrine have got out of stock which is great so but it's done drying my hair I hate it it takes it out of me I hate the feel in my hands so I'm gonna go have a snack break before I do the gua sha thing with the face mask I'm gonna go have a protein yogurt and some chocolate and then we will get on to the gua sha right I've had my snack break so we're gonna try this I'm gonna put my disgusting headband on. I want one of those cute ones that are like hard, but this is what we're working with currently. The majority of this routine, I've just checked. I'm Anne Boleyn. <laughs> what can I go with that? Even though it looks absolutely horrific. Anyway, the first, the main steps of this are with your fingers, so. We only need this for like the last bit. So this is from Sage, who says she is a face tension release specialist, I think. And she has done a seven step easy daily routine and that's what we're gonna do. So I'm following along with the, Botox, you know what? This needs to come out, I remember the first step. So you're gonna take your hands into your temporalis muscle and massage in for at least a minute. Really, really dig your fingers in and feel it open up. So I am gonna do this one side at a time because like I say, I get joint pain. So I'm gonna actually start with this and just rub it down my head because like I say, my fingers get sore. So I'm gonna rub it with this for 30 seconds and then do it with my fingers for 30 seconds. So I'm gonna set a timer because I will not do it for a minute. painful so I'm gonna keep keep drinking I could feel it all like clicking oh right next one step two you're gonna take your thumb here and you're going to massage this little muscle you'll feel it it's right above the ear also do that for a minute on each side so I reckon I'm gonna do the same so that, that last time I did 30 seconds with the roller then 30 seconds with my fingers but because of my nails I feel like I can't get into it very well so then I did a minute again with that and then swap sides so I think I'm going to do the same here I think this little side of it will be able to get in there oh, I can feel it so I'm going to do 30 seconds with the roller then 30 seconds with my finger see how that feels maybe do a minute again Died. next part that was also painful step three you're going to release the back of the neck because forward head posture can really contribute to jaw pain so we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna do the suboccipital pinch and you're going to pinch in the back of the neck until you feel it get jelloey 
So it'll be a little hard, a little stiff, and we wanna get to that point to where you feel it open up. I have been trying to do this since I first saw the TikTok because I've, like I say, I've got low neck tension and my traps are really tight and I can't ever make it feel jelly. So I'm just gonna do it for a minute <laughs> on one side and then a minute on the other side. And then hopefully that'll be enough. <laughs> That literally makes me feel sick. It's awful. To really set forward head posture, we also have to work on tight trapezoids. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hands, you're gonna massage in, do a pinching and massaging motion like this until you feel it open up. Essentially, you're taking up all of that knee back there with your fingers, you're pinching it, grabbing it up until you feel it start to open up. <sighs> right, another pinching one. Let's see how this goes. Uh, I need both hands, so this is gonna be harder to distract myself, but let's go. I can't even get it, like they're so tight. When they're both up, I literally can't even pull them up. Okay, I'll do a minute one side, and then a minute the next. If uh, music randomly came on there, it's because I had to put Noah Khan back on to just distract me from it, honestly. Disgusting how tight those are. Right, this next one, I know I need to brush, wash my hands, so let's have a look. For the buckle massage, you're gonna start out targeting the muscle that is behind your teeth when you keep them slightly apart. You'll feel it, it's a really knotted muscle. And then you're gonna take your fingers and just massage the whole mouth, cheek, and jaw area for about a minute on each Go side. Go wash my hands, let's see how this goes, because I have nails. She also says, uh, moisturizer on skin. So I've went and got the moisturizer that I'm using currently. Oh. And then you're gonna take your fingers and just massage the whole mouth, cheek, and jaw area for about <laughs> each side. This is awful. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh. oh my God, I can feel that TNJ. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, my mouth's actually salivating. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, I could literally, because my mouth was open, I could feel like, like the cartilage, I don't even know what it is, the tendon of my jaw being like rock solid. I didn't go near it because when I accidentally went near it, it, it hurt. So, what way did I just, the opposite way, okay. <laughs> I could feel the tension in my face. Wow. Now that everything's warm, you're gonna take your knuckles like this. You're gonna start on the edge, massage here. You can go as long as feels good because some places might be tighter than others. I would say at least 20 times. And then slowly just work your fingers along and go to the very next section. 20 times, very next section. And then see how I go down the jaw so we're making sure that every part of <laughs> the masseter gets that really focused attention rather than just going all over. <laughs> I know you're going to be like, well, Sarah, stop freaking tapping it, but there's hardly any left. I need to. <laughs> right. This is gonna be, if I haven't already been doing like quick time lapses, this is gonna be a quick time lapse because I think we can, I'm gonna be doing this for a while. Alright, I've gone down as much as I feel like I can currently, so we're gonna move on to the next step which is the gua sha, but I need more which is a variation. stuff on. I switched to this samples that I have from Kiehl's because this is just, it's it's, get, it's dead, it's gone, we, we've run out. So I've switched to one of my samples. So I need to put this back on again. What are we doing? The last one, you have to have a gua sha. You're gonna go 20 times up, 20 times back. Up the cheek and then back into the jaw with medium pressure. Mine is way more pronounced than hers. Oh. <laughs> okay. And then back oh, into the jaw. Okay. That's that side done. You can 
see it, it has the red. <laughs> is very red right that was the last of that one but i did save another one let me have a quick look and see if it's going to be appropriate i've had a look and i think that's all i'm going to do my face has gone down a little bit it's feeling very very hot but obviously i've been rolling it and stuff so of course it's gonna but hopefully that's the start of <laughs> oakley's being a little drama queen hopefully that's the start of my attention being released because Oh, my jaw is bad. She says in the video, I'm going to link her videos and her profile in the description box, so check her out. She says in the videos that it, like, it happens over time, so hopefully I'll get better. And I'll maybe put this in like the evening routine. I think in the morning it's going to be a lot of pain. <laughs> too, too quick in the day. So I think it's probably going to be an evening thing. I'm trying to figure out my morning routine. And I think I'm going to try and do it tomorrow. I'm going to get up earlier. If you have been around for a little while, I tried getting up earlier and I tried doing a morning routine. I did a video about it, so I'll leave it above a while back and I just reverted back to not doing it. So I'm going to try and get up earlier, which is nine o'clock. Uh, no judgment here, please. But I'm going to try and get up at nine. And then let me get my notes up that I want to do. I am going to... I'll see how I go because I'm going to be completely realistic about it. I think whilst I'm starting i might have to go on tiktok but I, maybe i can set like a 15 minute rule and like just to make sure that i stay awake instead of like snoozing my alarm or something but we'll see the ideal will be i think get up and wash my face with cold water because i feel like the cold water is going to be excellent it's going to make me feel cleaner uh, so get out of bed wash with cold water then maybe you could do skincare stuff straight away. I'm out of stuff at the minute. I have I have niacinamide, which I use on an evening, but I can change that to a morning. I'm only really doing skincare on an evening at the minute. So I might do the niacinamide. That's all I've got at the minute because my I ran out of my hyaluronic acid and that's just ran out. <laughs> so I might have a look through my sample, see what I've got in there. Hopefully I've got a vitamin C. I really want to get a good vitamin C, but I've seen from a lot of dermatologists that like vitamin C is one of those ones where you have to spend a bit of money on it for a good one. Like I think you meant to keep it in the fridge and everything as well. So I need to look into that. And then SPF, but I've got SPF. So I think get up, wash my face with cold water, do my skincare. Then I'm thinking having breakfast, which is a huge thing for me because I don't, I haven't had breakfast since before eating disorder like eating disorder completely took breakfast out of it and it's not still an eating disorder thing it's more of a habit thing now I'm very well aware that I can eat breakfast if I want to eat breakfast I just don't and I also when I am having caffeine if I'm not at the gym because this is all without the gym and I think I want to incorporate the gym more as like an activity that I do during the day rather than currently it is my morning like because I wake up so late it's literally I wake up TikTok for half an hour sometimes an hour, then get up, go to the gym, and I'm there till like two, so it's literally just like my entire morning, whereas I want it to be, it's just like an activity, like I'm there for like an hour and a half and then I'm done. I've seen in the, a few of those videos that I was watching said that you should try and not have caffeine for at least an hour after you wake up, which I'm not doing currently, so I if I'm not having caffeine straight away, I think I'm going to be hungry. And I'm thinking then I can incorporate a walk with him in the morning, because I don't do that currently, so maybe if I have like a little bit of a breakfast I'll feel okay enough to take him for a walk and then once I've walked him maybe the food will be down enough that I can then go to the gym <laughs> I haven't had breakfast in so long I've been trying to think what I could have because I'd quite like to have some protein but I am not a cooking kind of person so maybe like half a bagel with some cream cheese and a protein shake I don't know I don't know, I haven't had breakfast in so long, but I feel like it's going to be good. It's going to give me energy and it's going to get me past like the final hurdle of eating disorder stuff. I think that's what I'm going to try and do. So let's recap that again. Wake up, possibly TikTok, if I could, because I want to be up at nine. Even if I'm in bed till like half nine on my phone, at least I'll be like awake at nine. So possibly TikTok, possibly not. Wash my face with cold water, skincare if I can find any. Breakfast. <laughs> maybe do I go on my phone at breakfast I don't know let's see how I feel with that let's be realistic Let, I'll see how I feel about that breakfast walk with Oakley 
he's left, he's, he's annoyed I'm taking so long. Then back, then gym. The gym won't be happening tomorrow. I am still very like set in my way that I'm having a week off still. So that's what it's gonna be. I'm gonna leave his bay for now. I'll catch up with you in the morning. <laughs> well, I'll vlog and we'll see if I can get this done. routine went better I got up at nine I went on TikTok for half an hour because I was like I am tired uh, so I went on TikTok for half an hour then got up washed my face felt really good really really good after my skincare I was like oh my god love it uh, I put my tinted SPF on today because I have left my normal SPF in the car so if I'm looking a bit shiny it's because I've got tinted SPF on so I haven't put any makeup on or anything so if I'm looking a bit weird I don't have any mascara on. Had breakfast. So I basically, I was feeling really, really good until his walk. <laughs> and then I've just, it just, I don't know, brought everything down. After, basically up until his walk, up until leaving the house, well, up until just before leaving the house, I was like, this is awesome. I feel great. I feel so much better. I feel really good. I'm so pleased I've done this. And then, <sighs> Oakley has been really strange with his gentle lead recently. He doesn't want to go on walks as soon as he sees his gentle lead. He He's getting better with Jack, but he runs away from me when he sees me with the gentle lead and he'll go and hide in his crate. So Jack was still on a meeting. Jack was on a meeting all morning and he ran into his crate and I was trying to coax him out. I was giving him cuddles and I'd clipped it around him, but I'd only like put the collar part on. I hadn't put it around his snout. If you don't know what a gentle lead is, it basically, it loops around the snout, no, and is like on a, like a little circle, I can't remember, like a key ring type thing, onto their collar, 
and then you clip it has like a dangly bit and the the lead clips into the dangly bit so basically if he pulls it just gently pulls his head to the side it doesn't yank him it doesn't like dig in or anything you can adjust how much it goes around the snout and his is on like the correct way so all it is is if he pulls his head gets turned to the side so he doesn't pull as much because he doesn't want to walk like this it doesn't hurt him it doesn't yank him, it doesn't do anything. It is probably, well not probably, it is way more safe for him than him walking on his collar currently because he has gone back to pulling because I haven't trained up his walking in a while. If I want to walk him without doing any training, it has to be on his gentle lead, it has to be, because otherwise I've got to train, I've got to deal with the yanking, I've got to make sure that I'm in the correct headspace for training, and I don't want that in the morning because like I've established, I'm tired. He's just not a fan and he ran to his crate, I cuddled him to get him out and then I unclipped the thing, fine, absolutely fine, he ate all the treats that I put on the floor to try and coax him out of his crate and then he went and sat at the front door and then Jack came down, because he'd finished his meeting and Jack was able to put the collar on him. He ran up the stairs away from me and then Jack came down and he put the collar on him. So it just put me in a bit of a miff room because Oakley, like Jack is Oakley's favourite, there is no doubt about it. We don't know why it's happened, because like we were talking about it the other day, we don't think like Jack's been more... Well, I've done all the majority of the training with Oakley, so we think that it should be me. <laughs> but I haven't been like more abrupt with him, like I don't, I haven't shouted at him more than Jack. Uh, Jack doesn't give him like way more cuddles than me, but Jack's just his favourite. And it's just, it's so hard. <laughs> when I'm the one who does the majority of the training that Oakley just doesn't want to spend time with me and he just doesn't want to be out with me and he doesn't let me do as much as Jack even though I'm the one who trains for it. But I took him out for a walk and he was just pulling, like not pulling because obviously like I say he can't pull but there was tension there the majority of the time and I just got hot and I couldn't get him like to give any of his attention on me like even when I said his name he just wouldn't even look at me so and like I say, that's the only way I can walk him currently. I, w I am going to get back on top of like training him with his walking. But it's just, it's such a different kind of walk if I have to do training. I have to be on it. I have to be patient. I have to like just be there. And like in the morning, I'm not. So I don't want to have to do that in the morning. I'd rather save that for later in the day when I'm more awake. And I really like the idea of doing a walk in the morning. Like personally, I want to go for a walk. I want to get outside. I want to do some steps. And then also, if I'm going for a walk, I may as well take my dog for a walk because he also needs to go out in the morning. So it makes sense. But then it just completely dragged me down. Like it completely changed my mood and I just felt sad. And I was feeling so good and hopeful and like, yeah. And then took him for a walk and now I've just been like, and I've been on TikTok for an hour. And that's exactly what I wanted to get away from. So I'm a little bit disheartened. I don't know how to turn it around. I also, I am, um, I went on TikTok this morning, like I said, I got out of bed, but I also went on TikTok when I was eating my breakfast because I was like, I need, I want to watch them. Um, iPad kid, I want to watch something whilst I'm eating, but I don't want to go on TikTok. So if anybody has any recommendations of like something to watch whilst I'm having my breakfast, this kind of like puts, sets the intention for the day, sets the mood. Uh, I know people do podcasts, but I, I kind of need something to watch. I'm not, I, like I need something to engage me. So if anybody has any like YouTube series or anything like, that's uplifting on Netflix or Disney Plus or whatever, please let me know recommendations. But yeah, that's how it's going. I, I don't know how to get myself out of this either. So I don't know if going forward, maybe I don't walk Oakley, maybe I just go for a walk myself, but then that seems silly because I have a dog. <laughs> but yeah, that's where I'm at currently. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't have a plan uh, right now, to, like to for today. So I'll get back to you once I've decided what I'm doing. I have ended up editing this video. I was watching some YouTube videos about YouTube for a while. <laughs> And then me and Jack have had lunch and now I'm editing the beginning of this video. It is evening now. I think it's like seven, half seven or something. I don't know. I have been editing this video like I said I was doing. I didn't realise how long this one was going to be. So it took a while to edit, especially that big like uh, compilation in the middle. So it's taken a while. So that's all I've been doing. Like I said before that, I was watching 
just like I don't know motivational stuff but like relevant to me so like YouTube tips kind of stuff but yeah I've, I've, when I was watching the compilation back I still feel really good about it I feel really good about the morning routine it's it's felt better I haven't felt better today but I don't know if it's just because I'm really tired, I've got no caffeine kind of thing, or whether it was the walk with him. He's been out for a walk with Jack tonight and he has not behaved very well on Jack's walk either. So I, I think he's just, I feel like Oakley goes through like cycles, like menstrual cycles where like, he's just, he just really likes to misbehave some weeks and other weeks he's absolutely fine. And I think this week is one of those weeks, but everything before the walk, feeling really, really good about it. Definitely gonna go forward because it just, it made me feel a little bit better and I need something to make me feel a little bit better because I cannot go forward the way that I'm going forward at the minute. Like if I carry on on the same trajectory that I have been and doing the same thing every day, I'm just going to be miserable. Like it's not, it's, it's not good the way that I'm going. And all of the stuff that I would like to do that I feel like would make me better requires money. And that's just not on the cards right now because... I get less than £60 a month from YouTube. <laughs> I will eventually have the money that I'm after. Your tail is so freaking loud. And we'll be able to do fun videos like glow ups and stuff like that. I'm desperate for a glow up at the minute. I want my brows laminated. I'd love a facial from this place that is local to me. She looks incredible. But we'll get there. Once I have the money, I'll be making fun videos. I'm sorry if this one hasn't been as engaging. Like I say, because I'm in the slump, I don't really have like the energy to be like, and making cool transitions and stuff like that. I wish I was, but because I'm in the slump, I don't really have it. And obviously this morning, I was tired. So I'm sorry if this has been a bit of a boring one and it's, I feel like it ended on like a down note, but I am feeling optimistic about it. This is just the start. Subscribe because the next few months I'm gonna get out of this and I'm gonna feel better We're gonna do a video about getting back into the gym. We're gonna do a video about getting back into a morning routine We're gonna do a video about an evening routine. We're gonna get out of this slump and he's gonna be better behaved <laughs> So please make sure to subscribe and if you did enjoy this video Please make sure to like it as it makes YouTube push my content to more people and then I can grow my channel and then maybe get an income and then maybe I can make fun videos. <laughs> but even if you don't do any of that, thank you so much for watching and making it till the end. But I shall hopefully see you in another video. Bye.